Recorded live on location at the Generation X Comics and Games Studio, it's Trade Paper Axe, episode 19. With your hosts, Mark and Alex. Thank you, announcer boy. Announcer boy, he's a supportive fella. Yeah, sometimes. He's actually growing a neck beard in support of Scott White. <laughs> <laughs> so, we gotta increase the piece. Is he like cutting it down or is it just the way he naturally grows it? And we just didn't know that until now. Grows in okay. all, all hawks like Joe Dark Light. <laughs> I'm just insulting all the yeah, friends of the show. Everybody, just make everybody mad. As announcer boy so kindly told you, my name is Alex Lee. I'm joined by my co-patriot in comic books, Mark Thompson. You are listening to Trade Paper Hacks. Yes. Yes, yes that's they still are. the show. We're still, still around. Still doing it. Uh, we did not get kicked off after uh, Scott's cussing tirade last week. <laughs> we have no money left for the show. But no, budget's yeah. cut. Uh, but we are still allowed to be recording live from Generation X Comics and Games Studios over here in Bedford, Texas. Southeast corner of Harwood and 121. Next to... Taco Bell, old fake meat. Oh, fake meat. You're, you're going to get so much over that. I am. Yes. All right, so we got a lot going on tonight, but before we get to that, we got to introduce the man who runs the show behind the scenes, Tech Booth, Jason Dyer. Oh, seriously? Severus. Say hi, Tech Booth. <laughs> hi, Tech Booth. <laughs> See, I fixed my button this week. That's a great button, man. Yeah, you're not getting the... You're not getting that. Oh, no, no, we gotta get... Uh, All right, that's enough of that. All right, so tonight we're actually gonna talk... Uh, we got a little bit of news, stuff that's happened since last week. Uh, there's actually a disappointing thing with the whole Robert Downey Jr. announcement. Yeah. So was, we'll, we'll get into yeah. that in a second. Uh, later, we're gonna go into the old 90s Marvel uh, card super stats. Yeah, you remember on the back of the Marvel trading cards, they had the stats. You know, Professor X has this much intelligence and all this <laughs> yeah. other stuff. We, uh, we're going to go off. Marvel actually has this on their website. We're going to give our numbers and see how close they get to the we're Marvel. Gonna, we're going to see how that goes. Uh, but first, we are actually joined by a guest in the studio to help us ring in the beginning of con season. Ring in? Ring, ring in. No, no, ring in. Like ringing the bell at the... Hear ye, hear yeah. ye. <laughs> at, at the stock <laughs> exchange. <laughs> Screw it. Mark, the con man, Tran. Say hi, Mark. Hey. Hello. I think I'm going to call you trans so we don't get you confused with the four other marks we have at the show right now. All right. Or con man, it's, or... Hey, you, whatever. It's... Whatever. Yeah, that works. That one guy. Yeah. So, we actually uh, are going to be at a convention this next week. We're going to be at All Con over there in Addison. Addison. Yeah, I think so. In Addison. Yeah. And there's a lot going on uh, this season as far as conventions go. All Con, I feel like, is what's really going to kick it off for us. Uh, there's people that go to the anime conventions. There's people that go to Dallas Comic Con. Yeah, Dallas Comic Con. It's actually an Irving uh, Sci-Fi. Well, they moved Sci-Fi this, Expo. This one's in Dal- the, the one amazing in Dallas. Actually, it's like it's like in the six thousand square feet. More. It's like so a it's huge, a big yeah. deal now. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, this one is. Yeah, yeah they, they moved it. out of Irving and into actual well, yeah, Dallas. for now. But I think I remember when back when it used to be like Teeny Weeny Little Richardson. Yeah, I used to go to that one. The one it's like next to a library. It's in, yeah, yeah. You know, I used to go to that one like all the time. You had to park in the library. <laughs> yeah, to get to go. Yeah, I remember that one. That was I like that. Uh, but there's a lot of things that you need to know prior to going to a convention that can really help your experience just be that much better. Yes, because there's plenty of people that have never been or that go wrong. There's more people that go wrong. <laughs> yeah, that's true. And you can watch them from a distance. You can always tell the people that are sleeping in corners next to electrical outlets that are charging their phones. <laughs> uh, that's going to be us. Covered that's, in Cheez-Its. Covered right, in Cheez-Its. Cheez-Its and Cheeto dust. <laughs> Those are the people that you got to watch out for. You don't mix the Cheetos and Cheese its dust. That's like toxic. I mean, that's It depends bad. on what they have in the vending machines. <laughs> you, you get desperate. Yeah. All right, so let's start yeah. off. I got a whole list of things here. Um, 13 things. Lucky old number 13. Uh, uh, that we're going to go over and have Mark sign off on uh, because he's the professional here. You've been to how many cons? We've discussed this. You've been to 20-something cons. Probably, yeah, probably. Yeah. yeah, over the years, you've been to it. I used to go to, I told you, uh, way back in the 90s, they did Bulldog Productions. It's like admission was $2 to get in. That was like way back when. If you want to hear when Mark... When it first started, it was, yeah, it was that small. If you want to hear the Con Man Trans story, go back and listen all the way back to Are episode you? number one. I think, yeah, Trans was our oh, first guest. Yeah. You were our first one. That's what we were talking about, San Diego Comic Con, when you got back, right? Yes. Go check that out after this show. Yeah, listen to this one first. This one's much more important. Okay, so starting out, 
when you go into a convention, you usually sign up online. That's where you buy your tickets and you do all that jazz. And on every responsible website for a convention, there is a schedule. There's a schedule of all the events, all of the uh, panels, the workshops, everything. And there's also little other details uh, where the parking is, when the venue opens, when, uh, well, honestly, yeah. what panels there's going to be and the headliners. And that can kind of help you kind of gauge how lines are going to be. Knowing those types of things, Mark, have you ever, what's the worst screw up of that you've ever seen? People just not checking uh like panels and scheduling. Do you see a lot of lines out there? Do you see a lot of people that are just unprepared, getting there way too early, way too late? What's what's the best time to get to a convention and how to handle all the the first initial? Uh, I I think it just depends on what you're going there for. I mean, if you're going just to go, like yeah. buy comics, whatever, just roll on in. But if you're going to like conventions and panels, it depends on how popular it is. I mean, like. It, it just depends. Um, I know, like in San Diego, for like their panels, you literally camp out, like you camp out the night before to get yeah. in line and stuff like that. You so. make friends in line. Yeah, not that one, but yeah, you, <laughs> you just you, you make, gotta make friends in line. You make line acquaintances. You do. If you gotta pull go, my spot, I gotta pee. That's cool. Let's yeah, go. yeah. If you gotta but, pee, you wanna make sure that the people before you and after you are gonna let but, you back. But I mean, he, like, like if there's a one in da like the one in Dallas, like that. I mean, oh god, I don't know, like. I, Depends on if there will panels like a couple hours early, maybe one or two. Well, uh, I mean, you just kind of have to gauge like the line is and what because and also, well, and they have the things like you know, all the panels will be in the same room or like two or three different ones. And like, hey, the panel is from like one to three, and if it's over three, like hey, everyone needs to leave. Or some people just like sit in the room and just wait and just kind of cycle stay, through yeah. them. But then they get to a point like, yeah, you guys gotta get out. Yeah, so some cons will kick you out as soon as the panel's yeah. over, so, and then or some people it. just sit in and just wait and wait until the next one. But yeah. have you ever so. been on a panel, Mark? Uh, not the big ones. I've been, um, when the small ones were in Plano, um, yeah. uh, I, Bruce Campbell, I did a panel, uh, oh, did a panel awesome. with him. That was awesome. I had a couple of Bruce, um, and then there was, a uh, Mark Wade, Scott Kurtz, and some other ones I went to, they were just talking about comics and right persons. On. Yeah. But no, not the big ones. Not, not San Diego one. It's too much work. Too sure. much effort. I'm not gonna. And you're there to get <clears throat> to get stuff. your collectibles. Yeah. 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 Right. I mean, granted, I'm, I am there like you know, <clears throat> six, five in the morning, but that's the. Get What's the worst line you've ever had to wait in uh, for a convention admission? Just admission to get into uh, the thing. Oh, that's easy. That was the one of the ones the the Irving. No, no, the Plano convention, the Dallas one, one yeah. of them. So, so we're in line, and ironically, parking is way. It's either you park like in grass, or you park at some apartment complex and they shell you over wow. and so no, no it's better so the best part, <laughs> best part of that so so you're waiting in line you're waiting in line in the parking garage to Whoa. get in the empty parking garage to get in and the fire marshal didn't shut that down yeah that is like the word i'm like i could have parked this five-story parking garage but no they're using it for for to line up I was like are you kidding me wow yeah. another, that was the worst one that's my opinion so another little bit of advice if you're con that you're going to is going to be having a line outside bring some sunscreen yeah you're, you're going to be it. out there for a bit and don't be don't be a d-bag and don't line jump don't be like uh, hey i'm holding the line for like 20 freaking people D don't be that because it'll be because people will get mad and they're like they will hunt someone down and kick you out yeah those, those cosplayers have weapons uh, no like, like one or two people that's cool but you make sure people around you like hey if my friend comes in can he you know it's cool but if you got, hey, you know, half the van of, you know, whatever midgets and freaking cars are coming now. Yeah. That's that's just common courtesy. So. You're allowed to say that. You're under four <laughs> foot five, right? That is correct. Okay. <laughs> I, I, I am what you classify as vertically challenged, so it makes it okay. It's all right. <laughs> I'm right there with you. <laughs> just not as bad. Okay, so the next. <clears throat> the next thing is, is what are you allowed to bring with you? Now, this varies from con to con. But. I know when we go on to Alcon this weekend, we're going to be bringing tons of gear. But the one thing I'm going to bring a lot of, snacks. I'm going to have a lot of tiny little bits of food hanging out in my backpack because you i got to eat thing to do? like 10 times a day. That's a great, we oh, should like make, what we're going to do is we're going to make wraps. We're going to stick them in a little ice chest and we're going to have that available. Because so, you can just get some either, just get some tias. Make some hummus and ham, some cucumbers and pickles and lettuce, tomato. You're good. Wrap that badass up and go. 
just go buy save your money because i'm eating a lot of cliff bars my diet cliff is like 95 percent cliff bars and i don't eat it unless it comes in bar form actually food i know so you just go people bro <laughs> yeah. cliff bars you go buy cliff bars just go to taco bell and get like a couple bean burritos get some of that thing in your bag yeah you don't even need a refrigerator you just throw in your backpack All right yeah those, those, you those beans like, will never it. go bad uh, so. you know yeah extra it Extra, Man, you know. that will make your beans go bad. You did not. <laughs> Here's one thing I gotta warn you about: is the bathrooms at any convention. Yeah. Not up to par. Not up to par. Especially when you have to. No. If you need a stall, you're screwed because there's already ten cosplayers taking up every single stall, trying to figure out how to get their damn fur suit off. Well, you know that's nowadays, why they have the, the the bicycle shorts on. That's why they have yeah. the. the the, the basketball shorts? Yeah, basketball shorts, yeah. Well, there's bicycle shorts on under the basketball shorts, <laughs> yeah. one would hope. Uh, uh, anyway, uh, con, there's a trend. I think trend. it's supposed to be the other way around, but whatever. Is it? <laughs> sure. There's there's trends nowadays with cons having uh, cosplayer area. rooms, like yeah. where there's kind of just a hideaway. That's what it's called, co uh, cosplay yeah. hideaway. All con will have one of those. And it's a place where no cameras are allowed, and I think people Sandy are encouraged that. to do their stuff. What's up? Yeah, I think San Diego does that, too. But yeah, I would imagine I, think, I, that I know New York does it. All of them yeah. Trying to keep it local. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> sorry. Yeah, Dan, no worries. A couple other things you could bring to make the whole situation better. Hand sanitizer. People are disgusting. People are disgusting in large groups. This is going to be a large group. Any convention you go to is going to have tons of disgusting people there. So law averages. There's somebody there that has not washed their butt in like three days. You're going to get con cred. You're good. Con cred. Yeah. So be careful uh, shaking hands, high-fiving. Do all those things. Bring hand sanitizer. Just, just fall back on the be well, John Spartan. And do yeah. the circular. Do it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> wax on, wax, wax off. Yeah, well, that's I'm really confused of what this there. means. Yeah. I mean, I guess you have the Japanese heritage to just, back that up. I do. Yeah, but, yeah. <laughs> go on. <laughs> <laughs> nice. A couple other things you can bring. Kleenex, napkins, because you're going to make messes and people are going to judge you for it. Phone charger. Phone chargers are incredibly important. Because you're going to be there all day, and you're going to be uh, comparing things on your phone. You're going to be texting your friends, oh, hey, do you want me to pick you up this, this, and this? Uh, yeah. you're gonna, your phone's going to die, or you're going to be checking it as a, how long have I been sitting in this damn line? Or a lot of times, cons will have their own apps nowadays, so you can take a look at the schedule. You can get mm -hmm. interactive mm -hmm. maps, stuff like that. Yep. Uh, if not a, a charger, then get one of those uh, battery bricks. Something you can just plug Something a cord like into that. and have it on yeah. you. Now, if... If you don't have, I think I made this a different note, uh, maybe bring a small surge protector if you do plan on uh, using uh, your charger. What that's for is there's a limited amount of plugs actual on. plug ins on the walls. So sharing is caring. If you say, oh, hey, do you mind if I plug in with you? And you can also plug in with a surge protector, people are going to let you in. Yeah. You, can, you, can get the, you can always buy the little ports that has like two USB ports. The, yeah. on the wall yeah. and now works too I'm like hey can I like I got a dual port I'm like oh okay I'm yeah it, it's, it's, it's a sharing I, is caring might be you might button. make friends that way I mean who knows get you some might con not. friends going get some con friends yeah, yeah. Uh, other things you could bring I'm just gonna list these off real fast uh, oh I also said driver's license you're gonna need an ID to, for yeah. them to they're like okay Misty from Pokemon is dead we gotta identify the body <laughs> <laughs> What Deadpool is this? So are you Dana. saying that, are you encouraging people to have death identifiers on them? At all oh, the time? other things I have on here is life alerts. Okay, <laughs> life alerts. So when you fall and you can't get you out, yeah. yeah. So it happens when you wear big giant foam monster suits. Exactly. Can, yeah. you think. I did rattle off the other ones. Deodorant, because yes. you have to bring it. You just use it. <clears throat> no, you should bring it. You know, yeah. you're right. There, <laughs> you should yeah, bring because it. Because I do have. After I do you carry. hike half a lie, mile, I do, I do carry deodorant. Yes. Sunblock, as I said earlier, yeah. bring gum. Fair. Because you're going to be in close proximity to a lot of people. And if somebody... Or you can travel back to 1998 and get some Banaka. That is something I saw online. <laughs> I literally you know saw Banaka. Spray. <laughs> yeah. Not you know that. that. Awesome. <laughs> and the last thing I have is maybe a pillow. A lot of times you're going to be sitting around in line. And you want to sit on the floor. Floor dirty. It is. Are you, are now are you encouraging people to get their own hemorrhoid donut and bring it along with them to the cons? Totally. If it's it inflatable. inflates, it stores easier. Yes, yeah. that's true. Fold it up. Right, well, I'm going to be here for a while. Flop. <laughs> da, and done. we're good. Perfect. So, yeah. Actually, you, you forgot probably the most important thing you need to have in your arsenal if you're attending a con. It's Especially, not deodorant. It's, well, it's not hand sanitizer. It's not water. I said it's water. None of those things. You didn't say water. Yeah. But it's a good choice. He water, water. 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 I meant to say it was snacks. Sorry. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Have water. Um, water a Sharpie. Bring a damn Sharpie. Bring you a, want to be able to make some notes. You want a, to be able to get uh, some autographs. A black, no, bring a black Sharpie and like a silver Sharpie. 
Why'd you, say, have, why'd you say it all down low like that? No, like no, a black a, and a silver. Because if you have like you know a, a cover that's you know darker dark, than and you're you are like, yeah. sign it with your black. Oh man, it's not gonna. Shut so up. yeah, most so times, you see, people silver. doing autographs will have enough. You'd be surprised. Yeah, but, but if, they always have contingencies. Yeah, yeah because, because what if you meet a guy in the middle of the hallway at two a.m. on a Saturday? Yeah. Wait, what are you meeting him for? <laughs> yeah, I was gonna say. Uh, it's, it's just that's that's what the pillow comes in handy for. Yeah. Right there. Something, <laughs> something abiding you. Moving on. I like how we all immediately back down. Like abort, abort the jokes. <laughs> yeah. Bring a big, all right. The next thing. A big backpack. I'm trying to remember. What, I'm Put it all think, in something that you can actually carry. I'm just trying to think what else. My, what do I what do I care about? Yeah, what is and, it? And be prepared kid? for yeah. it to be looked at I'm whenever you go in kid. too. Oh God, yeah, they're yeah, always... they're gonna they're the security's gonna go yeah. through it. Back, so just be uh, for backpack, that. stuff to sign. If you're if you're doing comp books, uh, have like a ca- I guess something to put them in a ca- uh, like a hard like case, not case, but you know. What do you mean like a briefcase or something? No, just like a like a contain like a hard container to your something comics in. Because like when you're bag. on your bag, yeah. you're like moving around and like people bump into India and there's a chance they don't bend and you know that. Um... What do you use? Um, I have some like. Uh, I see people use small cardboard it, boxes. No, mine's like a, mine's like a black container. It like opens up. It holds like ten or fifteen comic books. Like back really? Where? Hmm? Yeah. If you have a link for that, we should link it. Okay. Right. Uh, I have, like, but yeah. yeah, it's 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 what I do. I'm like, cause then all my variants. One, I'm like just slide them in there, and then when I pull them up, oh here you go. And nice. It's just, it's just easier, and it keeps from having. Do you see other guys using the same type of material out there? Or it depends. People... Are you just using your genius and uh, astonishing the people? Well, well, the difference is, I only like when I get autographs. It's I get like you know, hey, sign these two comics. Yeah. People are like, here, sign like thirty of them, and I'm just like, yeah. I just got like two. <laughs> so okay, yeah. uh, obviously bring your gear to get signed. I guess yeah. that's kind of common sense. But if you're a true pro and you know how these cons work, condoms. Yeah, yeah. Bring yeah. condoms. Secret. That's the secret. That is a secret. I you don't want no a, con, I am babies. not a true pro. Damn. No, that's... <laughs> one day, Grasshopper. New York did do, was it, it was like, you know how they do speed dating? There was a, the New York had the, like, Comic-Con speed dating thing yeah. there. And I told my girlfriend, I was like, hey, so, um, if I go, it's cool, right? Whatever happens, if Comic-Con <laughs> stays there. No, I was like, <laughs> You're not getting a hall pass to Hall H. <laughs> 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 All right. Next, cash or credit? Yeah. Bring both. Mm-hmm. Bring both, because not every booth will accept a credit card. It's getting better about it, though. Tons yeah. of cash. Bring tons of cash, because the ATMs at conventions are a oh lot like God. the ones at strip clubs. They've got really yes. long lines, and the fees are like through it's the horrendous. roof. Yeah. <laughs> you want that twenty bucks? It's going to cost you thirty. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> and then yeah, yeah. And break up your cash. Don't bring a bunch of twenties because everyone's bringing twenties. So yeah. Kind of like, yeah. You know, break it up. Help the vendors out. Yeah. Have hey, you know this this thing is like three dollars. I got a twenty. And they're like, oh, yeah, go to the man. ATM and then break it like at the Walgreens or something. Find gum, <laughs> Kleenex. <laughs> when you condoms, buy them, yeah, buy all your little things yeah. separately and just take all that change with you. Exactly. Duh. <laughs> the next one is dress appropriately. It's going to be a long, long day. Uh, I know we're not going to dress appropriately. We're going to be wearing dark colors and probably pants. Yeah, uh, if but if, 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 if you're going to be... If wait, be, wait, probably pants? Did, I, I did we have to have a talk to you about this? I or vote, make sure I you vote put your pro pants, pants. I am definitely on the pro <laughs> pants agenda. So I have been outvoted but, on wearing jorts. Uh, <laughs> to the, there was to a the comment on bicycle shorts, too. Yeah, no, none of those. So. Nobody. Which I'm kind of wearing. Some, do I need to pull my pants mm-mm. off again? No. no. Really if you do that, you'll you'll prove uh, Mike Stover correct. <laughs> what was that? <laughs> he was like, I was talking to Mike today, and uh, we were discussing recording the show. He's like, Yeah, I was thinking about sticking around, but I think I'll go ahead and get out of here before Alex takes any more clothes off. <laughs> so you don't want to prove Mike right. He'll, he'll never live it down. <laughs> I wouldn't. I could never live with myself. <laughs> Uh, but no, uh, if you want to wear comfy shoes, make sure that that's a priority because you're going to be walking, I think the average con uh, is, what, four or five miles of physical travel in like a six-hour period. I, th- I read at, that somewhere. At least, yeah. At least. Wow. Didn't you walk like 11 at New York that one time? <laughs> like one day, yeah. 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 The San Diego's like six, seven miles. Uh, no, ten, I think plus. I had my little tracker. Wear good Sorry. shoes, for sure. Comfortable shoes, yeah. Plenty comfy good. shoes. Good shoes equal good time. Don't be wearing freaking flip-flops or crap like that, so just... Well, nobody wants to smell your dank ass hobbit feet. Well, you're walking Unless around, you're going stepping on people, you know, when you're trying to move around the aisle. So no, just... I'm sorry. If you're cosplaying as a hobbit, wear yourself some Jordans, and <laughs> and save us the trouble from having to smell your hairy feet. Or buy some hobbit feet shoe things, whatever. Yeah, wear something. 
Okay, so every web, uh, every con has its own website, and that's going to tell you where the panels are going to be. And you can always kind of tell by their marquee people uh, who's going to be the most popular. So eyeball that ahead of time. Eyeball it ahead of time so you can get in line. Be prepared to have to get there early. I know we were talking about lines only a few seconds ago, but sometimes you got to get there early or else you may not be able to get into those rooms. I've, I've missed panels before because I, I got there too late. I couldn't yeah. get in line. I back the last time Kevin Conroy or I went and saw Kevin Conroy, uh, I had to get in line pretty damn early to get in there, and then I also stayed another uh, two hours in line yeah. on top of that to get his autograph. So and they'll do like a cut, sometimes they do a cutoff. There's a bunch of people like, oh, this many people, and that's and, it. Yep, yeah, you are last in line. Done. Yeah. Yeah. So I have something I'd like to add for the general knowledge of con attendees. So it conites con con conidiums. I don't know what you call them. That's condominiums. That's a different word. No, that's a house thing. Okay. We'll talk. Go on. Anyway, condominiums? These guys, uh, so w- w- I think it's probably a good idea to be on the lookout for the uh, deer in a headlight face from any people that might be around you, uh, especially um, cosplayers who may be younger than they appear to be and are surrounded by gaggles of dudes. If you're doing your job right and you're walking around the con, you see somebody that looks alarmed, maybe chip in and say, hey, you're doing all right, you need any help, like, be there. It's okay to white knight every once in a while. But it, that stuff does happen. Creep, fringy things and happen. And afterwards, you tip your fedora and you leave. <laughs> My lady. Nice. Hey. Yeah, you gotta be careful. You're, you're walking that fine line between white knight and, hey, baby. Creepy stuff. You know, no, just, it, it, it just, I'm just saying, you'll... It's one of those things that I think that most people would know. Like you. Hey, walk, where are you, the white women at? Oh lord! <laughs> <laughs> like you turn, I knew you were gonna work that in somehow eventually. Nice. Eventually. <laughs> no, I mean, like if you if you exit the restaurant, where you turn a corner or something, and somebody is d- just making darting eyes, they're trying to make eye contact with you. Maybe pay attention and investigate that. Don't just let it go, or don't just turn the head and walk. Turn your head and walk away when you see people acting up in a in a awkward and or drunken manner. Maybe just look out for the scene. That's all I'm saying. Play it safe. I I don't know. I'm in a room of, like, don't be a hero unless you're asked to be. I thought you wanted to be Batman, bro. Right? Yeah. There's a light that shines every single night that says, I don't need to go be a hero. I I got something for you. This right here is the difference between Marvel fans and DC fans. (laughs) (laughs) I think you're stretching a little bit. I'm not stretching at all. Every, Um, every... Yes. I'm going to go ahead and say that if you have to wonder if your social cues are astute enough to be able to pick up on that kind of stuff, you probably shouldn't. Why would you wonder? What are you talking about? I, I don't know. I think that's a fine line. I no, think... I, all I'm saying is be aware. It's all fun and games until somebody gets hurt. Watch out for the people who might get hurt. That's all I'm saying. It's your scene, man. This is your con. It's your community. Oh, absolutely. Right. Yeah, nobody else is going to police us. Right. Well, hopefully there is staff and security. So if you do see something and you can't take care of yourself, you don't think it's appropriate, tell a staffer, yeah. and a staffer will step in. There you go. Yeah. There's the real there advice. There you go. There you go. Uh, another thing to be on the lookout for that's very important: uh, free sh- it's swag everywhere. is super, super important when you go to a con. Uh, you want to be able to grab all the freebies. If you can't find a freebie, what you could do uh, is go and look for uh, good price items. That's where you'll find some of the most ridiculous prices is at cons, both good and bad. If you have a, if there's something out there that you think that you know you have to have, but you're not quite sure on the price. Google that crap. Yeah. Like just Google it. Google it really quick. See what the price ranges are. And also take into consideration, you know, the amount of effort it would take you to go get it outside of the con. Weigh those options and pick up the item right there. Yeah. If always, it's reasonable. Always help out. Every time I go to a con, I always hit Artist Alley and I pick up artwork oh, yeah. directly I, from an artist. And the other thing is... We is have that, some great artists in Dallas-Fort Worth, too. That's the thing that uh, hopefully those of you that do attend cons locally already know. If you don't, figure it out. There's some great stuff out there. Art of War Lake, Show Enough Studios. Uh, I always love looking at what Terry Park puts up. Yeah. yeah. Okay. What else we got? <laughs> Real quick. Um, I, I did say uh, wash your butt. Yeah. Wash yeah, your wash, butt. Yeah. Wash it. I mean, you'll be and there everything for else days. attached to it. No, wash. <laughs> go get go get some, some body wash. Uh some banaka, some, some banaka, uh, some baby wipes, even to wash your to wash your ass. It's important. <laughs> just halfway through the day, just hit the bathroom with that baby wipe. Maybe and take you care. know. Just, and if uh, somebody happens to come up behind you with uh, Doug the Funky Homo Sapien playing in your ear hole, maybe pay attention to that <laughs> hook. 
Maybe pay Maybe they're trying to say, if somebody maybe offers you gum, you take it. Gum. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> that's, that's super important. Okay, I want to kind of get into this really quick because I know we're running out of time. You have to be polite to cosplayers, okay? You have to be, especially if you're going to be taking photos of them. If you're going to take photos of somebody, please ask first. Like, hey, is it okay for me to take a photo of you? And then always, if, even if they say yes or no, you uh, you let them know how much you appreciate and enjoy their costume. Compliment if, them. Yes, say thank if, you. If you know what they're cosplaying as, make sure you work that in because a lot of times, like you were telling yeah. us uh, off the air, that they actually appreciate you knowing that because a lot of times it would be super vague or something yeah. ridiculous. Or so, s- fandom somebody that yeah. not everybody knows Obscure or something that like that. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Because so, I think there's one girl who, the Pretty Deadly series mm-hmm. some girl dressed mm-hmm. and i was like oh my god and yeah like no one else was like oh my god you know i'm like oh yeah awesome another thing that's really important is if you are going to take a photo with somebody check your hands you're like yeah i don't know what to do with my hands <laughs> you can ask you can ask like hey do you mind if i put my arm around you and they say yes there's some things you should and shouldn't do one, never hover hand. And I'm going to show you with with our poison ivy back here. Yeah, we have a little, little shot. And I'm going to do my best to, to let you know. Come here, Pamela. Yeah, hi, Pam. This is my fantasy moment. <laughs> Everything up to this point has been a dream. <laughs> so you say, hey, I like your poison ivy cosplay. Uh, do you mind if I take a photo with you and can I put my arm around you? There's things you shouldn't do. You should never do the hover hand, and that's where your hand... Uh, is behind the girl and should be on her shoulder, but it's actually three to four inches okay. away from her shoulder. This is the quickest way to look like you're a total virgin. And it's not a good it's look on anybody. It's not cupping cardboard. That has nothing to do with it. No, it has nothing to do with that. <laughs> and then there's also three other placements you can put your hands. If you put it on the ass, you're a pervert. Done. If yeah, you put it on yeah. the small of the back, you better be her boyfriend. Shoulder, shoulder's just perfect. If you don't want to touch them, but you want to be close to them, always just kind of do the your hands on your hips next to her on her on her hips. And it's a safe zone. You're posing for a photo. She's posing for a photo. You can kind of tease the elbow behind them. That's the safe zone. Everything else, kind of creepy. I personally, I avoid touching people. I think that's just a general rule for me because I don't want to get their con scabies. <laughs> <laughs> But you're okay with grabbing up on some cardboard. That's some sexy ass cardboard. <laughs> and finally, wrap it up. The one thing you really, really, really need to do is be polite to people with media badges. Yes. <laughs> yeah, they're working hard out there. <laughs> Those people have they're... been out there all day, and they just wanted to get you on camera, or, or they just want to get your you... opinion on something. Yeah, if they got a question for you, answer it as nicely as you can. If they happen to insult you in the process, ignore it. Yeah, hopefully yeah. they'll give you the heads up yeah. ahead of time. <laughs> now, hopefully, who are, who's going to be having press passes uh, this weekend? Oh, uh, there's there's like there's like, dude, us. I, uh, hey! I need hand sanitizer. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, we are going to be at All Con both Friday, Saturday, and Sun. Uh, both Friday and Saturday, actually. Yeah, yeah. We will be yeah. out there on Saturday. We will all have show shirts. Come check us out. Come find us. Come talk to us. Come say hi. We would love to hear from you about your experience so far at All Con. We have some friends out there. Please go buy our tickets. Go check out AllCon. We are excited to be going. Yeah, this is going to be a cool, cool thing, and we'll tell you all about that next time. So. Yep. But in the meanwhile, next we're going to be actually talking about some news. Uh, news. 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 So hang out, check back in, and we'll let you know uh, what you need to know. Yeah. <laughs> And we're back, and now to Mark with the news. I think that, yeah, I go. see you signal me. There Good. we go. Okay. Well, the biggest part of the news, I think, is the Avengers trailer this week. So the problem with the Avengers trailer being the biggest piece of news is last week, we even teased that Robert Downey Jr. said that there was going to be a big announcement this week. Well, apparently, all that was was a new trailer. Yeah, the the new Avengers trailer, and that apparently. That it was a report from Marvel is that fans just made it to be more than they than we said it was going to be. When Robert Downey Jr. said the words, "I have a big announcement on March 5th. 
And that's when this trailer came. He out. said a week from today. Yeah. Yeah. So and it was actually two days after, or two days before well, March fifth. Is he claiming that it's the first time that we see Vision? Like, was he rumored previously, or was he? Oh, he was all character? over he's on the PR posters. stuff. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, he's been confirmed for a while. He's been on the posters too, the movie posters. Yeah, he's been on posters. Either but way, actually, was... seeing him for two seconds at the end yeah. of the trailer, even that. awesome. Well, I mean, awesome. yeah, I mean even they have all the toys, the Avengers toys out, and on the back there's a Vision. So, I mean, it's not like... Yeah, not gonna yeah, be in the it. toys of so. Ari Slistam. We've all known for a while <laughs> Vision was going to be around. Which is good, because it's awesome. Okay, so the trailer is a lot more action-packed. A lot more action-packed, and you get a little bit more of the story out of it. You get the confirmation that Tony Stark made Ultron. Yeah. Yes. That he made a, uh AI that went bad and turned into Ultron. Mm-hmm. We get that Ultron is trying to tear the Avengers apart from the inside. Right, even using Scarlet Witch to use some brain powers on, on Black uh, Widow. Black Widow, which which is really be confusing because I thought I was going to say Scarlet Witch on Scarlet Johansson. <laughs> Scarlet that, on uh, Scarlet action. It's... <laughs> oh, oh, what the hell? <laughs> Pretend there's no camera. White people. <laughs> <laughs> We failed a high five. We fa yeah. Moving on. <laughs> Moving. <laughs> Moving on. Well, <laughs> we are. We are. It's, this is That's what happened. You, when you uh, fail, you I fail. I feel like you just broke a bro code. But yeah, cool. Just, go ahead. Yeah, right. what happens. You just pick it up and keep going when you, you screw do what up. You gotta do, man. What else happens in the trailer? Um, <clears throat> we see more Hulk beating up Iron Man Hulkbuster armor, which is cool. Looks so good. Yes. We actually see uh, Quicksilver actually using his speed, punching Cap in the mouth. Uh, in the first. Just smacking him up. So, uh, what else happened in that trailer? We get some, uh, actual, get some dialogue from Ultron. That's not a on. Pinocchio song. No. Right. Yeah. It's actual, some bits of dialogue, and I'm, I had chills. I, I want to watch these, this. I want to watch these trailers with James Spader's voiceover, but not have any of the actual pictures of Ultron, and just think it's a really effed up episode of The Blacklist. <laughs> 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 I want that to be a thing. <laughs> Then go make it a thing. I can probably just sit there and edit it in videos or something. Yes, like yes, you can. I could do that. Uh, speaking of editing, this apparently made big news as well. Somebody took Spider-Man and spliced him into this trailer. And if you see it, it actually looks pretty cool. They spliced it into that whole shot where they're all... An the action shot where they're jumping sideways. Yeah. And it looks so good. And they put Spider-Man uh, from The Amazing Spider-Man 2... Swinging through. Swinging through. It's like right like behind Hulk, in, but in front of Iron Man. Yeah, kinda. it looks so good. Yeah. But have you seen the full trailer where they actually splice in no. elements of the Amazing Spider-Man yeah. into it? Yeah, I saw yeah. that on the... That one doesn't look quite as good because you cut out some cool stuff from the Avengers trailer right. to put the Spider-Man stuff in. So It's going to be so exciting. Like, like when we finally get Spider-Man in there, it does nothing but confirm that Spider-Man belongs in this yeah. universe. Yeah. The first time I saw that, I'm like, oh, it's unbelievable. There's like a little cli uh, link online or something. Yeah. I clicked it, and I didn't get it at first, because it just seems so natural to me. I'm like, what? Yeah. Oh, What's whoa, the big deal? Yeah. yeah, exactly. But see, new spy, you get, then you get a new Green Goblin, of course. Like, Which doesn't translate. Yeah. Revamp again, so the Goblin the Third or whatever. Well, we'll, we'll figure something see out. what happens with see. that. Dude, you know they will. The, all this has done is fuel the rumors that they're going to shove Spider-Man into Age of Ultron. They're not. It's not going to happen. They're not. There will be no Spider-Man in it. We would love to be wrong. Yeah. Oh, God, That'd be yeah. cool. We'd love to be wrong. But they have pretty much spoiled that uh, uh, Sam Wilson will be in it. In He's on the tr on the poster. poster. Yeah, he, oh, okay. uh, uh, Ildris Elba as... Uh, Idris Elba. It's him as at all. Himdall. And there was one he, other. Uh, there was I'm somebody else. Oh. I can't remember who it was right I'm off the top of my head. There was somebody else. There was somebody Black else. Panther? Well, <laughs> Black Panther's going to be a stinger. I've already called that. Yeah. Yeah, I think you're right. But they're not going to put him on the poster. He didn't get credit on the poster. Yeah. Hmm. Oh, oh, Don Cheadle. Yeah, Don Cheadle. So we're going to have yeah, a war machine, machine there, too. Right. We've already the, seen him in the trailers, but that was the yeah, other name on he was that. In yeah. The whatever yeah, so apparently out. this is going to be everybody coming together to fight off the Ultron Sweet. wave. Exciting. Yeah. So that's going to be cool. Very cool. And you can already tell there's going to be a little bit of the jokiness that we got in the first Avengers. Yeah. Thor comes up. Is that all you got? And Ultron just sends all his little minions after him. And Captain America is like. What's up, bro? What's up? What are you doing? <laughs> did you really say that? Yeah, come on, It was bro. very much a Ghostbusters. What did you do, <laughs> yeah, Ray? Yeah. <laughs> you brought up a great point uh, when we were looking at the trailer prior. Oh, yeah. Uh, I really haven't seen any more Ant-Man um, trailers. 
Yeah, there's no Ant Man yeah. media right there's now. There's been and one trailer and that's it. Which I understand they're they're doing um, Avengers, but I mean, we should see something been, else, or at least because what this is the third Avengers trailer. We've only had one Ant Man trailer so far. Yeah, and it was I mean, basically a teaser trailer. Yeah, I'm just. I mean, well, I'm okay. sure they show more after Avengers, but still. Yeah, think about this. We are well into time for Avengers trailers to start hitting. It's a month away from this movie coming out. Or yeah. You can buy tickets About a month now. and a half out. Yeah, you can start getting tickets because it's the first weekend of May. July is when Ant-Man comes out. So we've still got lots of time for that to happen. So I've already called it. There's going to be an awesome Ant-Man trailer on the front of Avengers. Yeah. Going to be an amazing one. No, yeah, I can see Going to be... Yeah. Yeah, it, it, it has to be good. Yeah. Definitely has to be good. All right, next topic. There was a Supergirl costume reveal for the new TV show. Yeah, Supergirl's pilot has started to film. They have her in the costume. It reminds me a lot of uh, the uh, Man of Steel suit. It's, it's got that darker blue with the darker red. <clears throat> it's it's kind of got that crosshatch kind of design yeah. on it. I mean, it's not the S's like the whole Superman suit was in Man of Steel, which is stupid. Was Did stupid. Anybody else get a vibe that Supergirl could teach you how to knit by looking at the promo photos? Like I, I saw her, and it just seemed like a really um, like a mom. Oh, so you're like saying she Super looks mom. very, yeah. very suburban. Yeah. yeah, she does. She does. She seems like somebody you'd see walking out of a gym or a Starbucks in the morning. Well, and I'm like, sorry they forgot to put Power Girls. That's not what I'm saying. <laughs> you know, saying her hair. Yeah. It saying, had a lot her, to do with her hair. Her yes, hair was did. very flat. Now, well, and, it, and not super blonde. I don't know. It, it wasn't. It, she looked very average, which is okay. Which is perfect, it, yeah. in fact. But it it yeah. just. Eh. Anybody else want to see her knit things? No, I'm kidding. <laughs> I'm totally uh, did you say something about nipples? Knit, knitting. Knit, 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 knitting. Uh, knitting. Uh, oh. Giggity. <laughs> <laughs> but no, I th- I think it looked cool, especially I, for a TV show. What did I tweet? Hmm. I tweeted something along the lines of, "Oh, oh it's remember. it's humble. <laughs> no, no, no. It's modest, and it'll be easy to cosplay." Uh, the the feminist con goers are gonna love it. Yeah, <laughs> which yeah. is okay by us. Yeah, so I think it'll be a cool thing to see what happened. Uh, let's see what else did we have uh, here? The movie marathon. We probably should have done this after oh, yeah. the Avengers. Yeah, we should have. But so apparently, AMC theaters in select locations. Mm-hmm. Uh, they think the closest one to us is going to end up being in Houston, from what I've seen. Yeah. Hopefully, we'll get one in the DFW area. They are going to be doing a 20- movie marathon of all the Marvel universe. Starting from Iron Man all the way up to oh. Avengers. Yeah, Avengers so, 2. Avengers 2. So this is going to be like a 36-hour so marathon it's 20, or something like that. It's like 27 hour, uh, 27 uh, hour. Yeah, more like 27-hour. I, I heard yeah. rumor that if you complete it, you actually get a marathon medal. Yes, an Avengers would be, medal. Would that be worth driving down to Houston for? for like yeah, a few let's, days? Go. yeah let's, let's go. Yeah, let's go. Totally. I mean, let's just quit our jobs, ma- leave marathon, our wives, go do dude, this. Dude, I did, I, I did a marathon this week. What? <laughs> I won. Look at this. I can impress I said, all my friends who run all the time. Look. I sat through The Incredible Hulk and Iron Man 3 to get this son of a bitch. <laughs> <laughs> I liked Iron Man 3 more than Iron Man 2. Just really? 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 Mm-hmm. really? Even wow. with a little annoying kid? Yeah. Yeah. Really? really? Yeah, well, I thought well, it was kind of endearing. Alex likes a little annoying kid. Who would have thought? Yeah, who he reminds him of himself. He, he related to that kid for some reason. He's like, that's Weird. like me talking. Wow. <laughs> What's the next news topic? <laughs> <laughs> The only thing I can really think of is um, we had a little bit of a scare this week. <laughs> Poker Factor Ooh, yeah, 6. Yeah, so I, I'm up here at work. I'm working away. I get a little check my phone for a message, and somebody lets me know that Harrison Ford had been in a plane crash. Now, this is days after we had just done, gotten done saying, what's more sad, if Leonard Nimoy died or Harrison Ford? <laughs> oh, wow, well, we did yeah, say, we we did say, say that. that. Yeah. And Harrison Ford goes and gets himself in a plane crash. Oh, <laughs> a single-person plane crash. Yeah, Rex onto a golf course in the suburb, Who and he could have easily hit houses, so the fact that he made it to this empty golf course... Makes him a hero. Yeah. You know, good okay. job, Harrison Ford. What I want to know is why it is that Scott White was the source of this of both the Leonard Nimoy news and the Harrison Ford news for me. Like, I, I just... <laughs> What's wrong with me? Scott, <laughs> What's happening? He has, he has the neckbeard premonition. Like the, oh. he gets, <laughs> it's like a peacock sense. Oh, something's happening. No, but seriously, Scott, thanks for uh, keeping us up to date on that stuff. Because, but yeah, no, no, my I follicles was... tell me there's a disturbance <laughs> on horse. Oh, oh, <laughs> <ooh. laughs> just a little wiggly lines around. But you want to know how much of a badass Harrison Ford is? How much? He. Not only got out of the plane himself and walked off, and then had to be carted off to the uh, to the emergency room, but people tried to help him, and we have audio here from the news report. 
People tried to help him out of the plane, and he mm. refused help. All he, he was recorded saying was, Get off my plane. He was pointing angrily <laughs> at, yeah. Yeah. At, yeah. at the person. Yeah. So. And they backed up. It was amazing. <laughs> Get the off best the news. Way. Get off so, the way. yeah, the fact, the fact that he did that is awesome. And we now know how far a par, uh, 12 parsecs is. It's the end of a golf course. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> not quite the 18th hole. <laughs> yeah, not quite. Nice. But no, we're glad he, he seems to be doing okay. Every report says he's fine. He got some cuts and busted his head open and all this stuff, but he's alive. I know well, I, like I was working with Brooke, our estrogen correspondent. She just looked at me and she goes, we can't lose Spock and Han Solo in the same week. That's not cool. I was like, Don't do it. Yeah, I agree with that. So luckily we didn't. Now, I did hear that they're going to movie or companies going to stop insuring him when he's doing movies. Like every actor has insurance on them mm-hmm. when yeah, you're filming you a movie. To. Yeah. So they, I heard that they're not going to allow him to fly a plane, and if he does when he's filming a movie, they're not going to insure him. I don't know if it makes me sound ageist, but in what um, realm is an insurance company supposed to be perfectly fine with allowing a 72 year old man to fly a plane it's by himself? Let, it's been Lane Falcon. It should be okay. Yeah, he you, is. Can, <laughs> you can. <laughs> You can fly a plane, you can drive a car up until any age, and it's not illegal. It's and and, and yes. insurance companies, well, yeah, by all means, I think after a certain age, you should have to, you know, get a new driver's license every year. No, wait, wait until the uh, the the driverless cars start coming out, and then we will definitely see that legislation come to existence and tax breaks for folks who should not be driving themselves. Yeah, somebody that can be yeah. driven by something else. Okay, so. that's really all we had. For yeah, me. that's it. So we we ended on a good note. Hair support still alive. Yeah. Yay! We did it both manually and digitally. That's that's real. <laughs> that's that's the best way to do it. All Analog right. and digital. <laughs> Coming up next, we're actually going to talk Marvel superpowers. Yeah. Actually, and how we would rate them. Yes, kind of. All right, stick around. Clicky. <laughs> And we are back. Yeah. So, yeah. working at a comic book store, I can see things every once in a while, and I have recently seen some Marvel cards come in. Everybody remember these from the 90s? They are the, the superhero cards. Got Pow! a picture on one side and then got, like, baseball stats, but for superheroes on the back. So I got to wondering about that. and we went, So Tech Booth and I checked out <laughs> Marvel.com. And we found there's a little Wikia thing there that actually has these power stats on... The Marvel page, so I got to thinking about it. I wonder how well we will agree with these stats here. Yeah, so let's kind of throw out an example. Okay, uh, there are they they give us six stats to go on. Yeah. It is durability, so how much of an ass whooping they can take. Mm-hmm. Uh, energy, which I'm guessing to mean energy projection, yeah. pew, stuff pew. like that. Uh, yeah, pew, the pew pews. pews yeah. uh, <laughs> fighting, which is how how good of a puncher they are. Hi-ya! We'll give it sound effects. Is that crazy? Yeah, yeah, that's yeah, pretty good. 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 Yeah, yeah, good. Yeah. Keep going. Uh, intelligence, so how smart they is. No, not how... No. <laughs> not how constipated <laughs> they are. are. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Speed, so how quick they is. Wait. What was that? What was that? That, that was... Uh, that was speed, all right. That was speed, yeah. Oh. And then strength. Bam! Bam! <laughs> so... They they give us a scale of one to seven to go on, for some some reason because well, base a... seven is such a common numeric <laughs> it's, number. It's, it's, it's so that guys like me can't go. I don't like it, but it's a six. That's why. But I do <laughs> like it. It's yeah. a six. Right, right, right. No, no. There is a middle ground. You have the bottom three, the top three, and the one in the middle being number four. I guess yes. that's how it works. All around. So you have number, a number four is your average superhero, and number one is your normal human being, and then something seven is you know. Yeah, but I'm like, if you're a superhero, yeah. where would you be average? If you're just a superhero, yeah, if you're. A top. I'm doing superhero average. So you guys, average for a superhero. All right, give us an example, Techie. Let's start with. Uh, <laughs> let's start with Spider-Man. So Spider-Man. Yeah, give us the numbers on Spider-Man. Spider-Man. See if we agree with them or not. The numbers? Okay, so you want the Marvel. The Marvel official numbers, yeah. yeah. The Marvel official yeah. numbers, right. just so we have an idea of how this works. Peter Parker, Spider-Man, is listed as average intelligence at four of seven. No. No. He's above average. He's yeah, above he's average. A freaking yeah, he makes freaking web shooters and web... Well, he's officially a PhD now. Yeah. Yeah, yeah he's not freaking average. Yeah. 
He's a right. way above average. Now he's not Reed Richards level. He yeah, he's actually. Um, he's very, he's very close. I would, it. I would give him a five, and I would give Reed Richards a seven. Yeah, he's the smartest man in the Marvel Where, universe. Where's Reed Richards Bruce Richards in there? Six. Six. We'll get yeah. there. All right, so, <laughs> five, six, seven. All right. So, uh, yeah, then, strength. Spider Man strength is officially cast as also a four of seven. Four. I can see what? that. Come as far as now. superheroes go, he's he can he can hold a car over his head, but he can't hold up a plane or something like that. He wouldn't be able to. He's very much. He could hold up Harrison Ford's plane. I don't have the spider right webs. He could <laughs> the whip, the whip, <laughs> and a net. <laughs> yeah. Uh, whatever. We'll I think he doesn't that. rest on his strength laurels much. No, okay. no. He doesn't. Well, let's see how you like this one. Uh, speed. He is officially listed as five of seven. Ha-ha! I would give him a six. He's pretty quick. Yeah, but he's not a speedster. I think once you get up in the sixes and the sevens, you're a speedster. I, yeah. I guess his uh, his spider sense kind of gives you a little look of more yeah. speed because yeah. he's seeing stuff coming. Right. He could definitely yeah. dodge bullets and that puts you above average. Yeah. Yeah. I'll go well, okay, in the event that he does not dodge a bullet, there's durability. The official ratings for durability is three of seven. He, he is a, quite. He's, 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 he's a little mortal. He's, he's a little squishy. squishy. He, he, yeah. like, he doesn't like self heal like a fast or anything, does he? No. No, no. he self heals over time. Yeah, like like, like, like a normal heal. person. No, no, no. no. He has an accelerated healing yeah. factor, but not that much of an accelerated. Yeah, not cool brain factor. enough. Okay. So if it would take a normal person six weeks to heal from a broken arm, it might take Spidey three. Three. Yeah. Uh, okay. Two to three. Yeah. Okay. So a little so bit, but still, it's not like he's gonna. He he can get his butt whooped pretty easy. Yeah, he's squishy. That's that durability thing. Yeah. So, uh, Which makes him a more appealing character. Yeah, Somebody who's vulnerable. Yeah. Right. And not yeah. Superman levels of durability. So the next one is energy projection. One? Uh, not, yeah. He doesn't really project energy, so yeah. I'm going to say one. The official ratings are four of seven. How? How? What? How? What is what he, is what is he, he projecting? projecting? I guess his webs are energy and he can put out... No, he makes that. Maybe that's like his like his punching spiders? ability? I don't you know, know what I love about no, this? Okay, so you guys... We haven't talked about it yet, but along with the official Marvel ratings uh-huh. are fan votes yeah. of what they should, of what fans believe that they should be. So, is energy like the time? great part about this is that energy projection, according to the fan vote, is actually five and not four. So well, there's Jack a bunch of other dudes out there say why, who though? understand this better than we this do. This isn't no, listed. Yeah. Like these aren't yeah. explained yeah. anywhere. Yeah, they're, they're explained. They say why so, I mean, he wants to fight. I mean, the only like, projection no, he does is, spider, is whips. Is it spider sense then? <laughs> Maybe, but that's I mean, not really a projection. I would call that more of. Intelligence See? than anything, I guess. All right, no, so we'll, because uh, spider sense is like a it's intelligence. Your intelligence, spider sense is like a thing you got from the spider. It's a precog. So, yeah, 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 but it's not like energy it. projection. You're not putting it off on anybody, right? Mm, I got it. And this yeah. is how nerd rage starts. God, you can yeah. see. So bad. Bad. All right, all right, all right. Okay, so, so did we do all of his? Yeah, did we we did all. Oh, of... We got one more. Oh. All right. So the the last, probably the most important uh, skill that a mar- that any superhero can have, fighting skills. The official Marvel Five. ratings. Anybody care to hazard a guess? Five? I think he learned Kung Fu. What? At one point. He learned Kung Fu from what's his name? Spider-Fu. Spider Spider yeah. I know Kung Fu. I know Kung Fu. So what would Show you put me. that at? <laughs> of seven. I just looked at it, actually. Uh, oh, that's great. One, two, so, three, four, five. Official Marvel ratings are five. five. Even before he's, I looked at it. He's pretty good he at fighting because, you yeah. know, he'll swing around the something and smack somebody with it. Yeah, he's pretty good. He, he, he's he, like he, he's so fan yeah. votes have this place at 7 of 7. They think he's Spidey not that Alright, no more he's fan votes. Yeah, There's a bunch of jokers. Them fan <laughs> That's exactly what we're doing. Yeah, them yeah. fans don't know what they're talking about. We yeah, but we are professionals. Yeah, look at uh, that. Yes. We do this on this thing. So. Bam! On camera! Ugh. Now they can see us fail. So, Mark, where would you like to go next? Is there a character that you find particularly intriguing? Uh, whatever's next on the list. Captain America. Okay. Yeah, All right, done. Oh. Captain America, Steve Rogers of Earth 616. His Intel rating, official Marvel ratings of seven. Anybody? Four. Yes, oh. nailed oh, it. Sh- Mark yeah. Transcon, man, nailed it at dude, four. Dude, he's just like a dude. He's just, he's not Why don't we have Mark do all of these and then we'll, we'll judge him for it? What? Yeah, well, yeah, we, let's we judge him. You were really getting comic shit. Okay, I need you. But still. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, oh, oh, yeah. Well, I'm still employed. I tell you what, I'll tell you what, we'll take turns. You do a character, I'll do a character, and then Mark will do a character. Right. We'll see. So, oh, okay, yeah, yeah. Tra- yeah. Tra- yeah. Take off so on this cap, is, so, so this is a uh, cap. Okay, yeah, right. so okay. Cap. I, I kind of... Right. Okay, I'll he's give him a, a four. Normal, he's, he's like he's, a normal dude. I mean, he's, he's not... He's pretty smart. He's a va- He can learn. That's his ability. 
He can, he can learn, learn things really okay. fast. Yeah, he can. He, but he's not out there discovering things. There's a discoverance level of intelligence, and there's a learning level of intelligence. Unless you do the, the Captain America Winter Soldier, he's got a little notepad with all his notes of stuff to do. Unless he so. also has a Lumosity account and does brain training. <laughs> all games. right. Next. Is he in all right. Mark. Tran the con, man. Uh, how do you feel? How would you rate uh, Captain America's strength on a scale of one to seven? Six. Really? Oh no! So no, Captain no. Steve Rogers is identified as being the peak, the pinnacle of human uh, endurance and strength. So he should be like an Olympic level dude of his same body and size and build. I think he'd have a little bit additional power on top. of Yeah. That. Okay. So he's like uh, what? Twenty so percent. Six out of seven. I think that's he's, asking a lot of him. I don't. Think the official seven. Marvel ratings are three of seven. Whoa! See? No, 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 no. no, 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 no uh, no, no yeah. hold on. I think Spider Man. <laughs> Spider Man was a foe, right? Yeah. Spider Man's four. He's stronger than Cap. He's stronger than Cap. Usually, Cap lifting up cars. So Cap is listed as three. What's your problem? I don't have a problem with. It. I'm agreeing uh, with them. Okay. I don't agree with these jokers. Okay. Well, He's no, like I agree. Super soldiers. If they're gonna do, okay, and... then Cap needs to be a four at least, and the Spider Man needs to be a five. Nah, we're just gonna good. bump the whole damn scale. Y'all. No, keep the scale. All right. All right so next Spider Man's a gold standard. Mark Tran, the con man. Speed of seven. What do you rate Captain America's speed? Uh, four. Sir? Official Marvel rating is three of seven. Yeah, I can go with that. He's, he's got a middle ground. Yeah, I mean he's not going to win any foot race, he but is he's doing flips. He's going to run forever though. Yeah. So. All right then, durability. All right, well I'm probably getting wrong. Um, why is durable? Uh, final say four again. Three of seven. Nah, come on. Dude lived He's through. just a human. He With a super being soldier frozen. Serum. Yeah, he got frozen he for a couple frozen decades. For okay, years. I would call that a special set of circumstances around. Like, oh, we're doing uh, that then. Uh, oh, 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 everybody. Yeah. everybody yeah. Yeah. Wow. That's come on. Let's, yeah. let's keep going. All right, so energy projection. One. We don't know what that is. Yeah. Let's not do energy hey, projection Just anymore. roll with it. I say just one throw? because he can't shoot laser beams. He can't throw a... He get, yeah, you can throw like a shield. That's not projection. exactly projecting energy. Marvel has right. him at a seven and yeah. a half. What the, the <laughs> official right. Marvel rating is one of seven. See? Yeah. 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 All right. Yeah. And last but not least, fighting skills of seven. I would say seven. I would say seven because wow. this is Captain America. The tact tactical combat. Or they're going to say five, yeah. right? The official Marvel, Marvel ratings for Captain America are six of seven. Oh, I can kind of go with that. Oh. Okay, think of like, he's not like martial Iron artist. Fist. Yeah, yeah Iron okay, fist all, right, seven, all right, right? Yeah. He's all right. I assume. I assume. Yeah, yeah, we'll okay. go with that. That Playing sounds good. So, Shane Chi would be a seven. Too. Alex Lee, right. I am going to target you with the next character. All right. We're going to talk about Iron Man. Okay, robot. But is this a Iron robot. Man, Tony Stark, or is this Iron Man with the suit on? This is Anthony Edward Stark. This is with the suit uh, on. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Would, you the whole, the whole, Would you rate I that man without Man the bat suit? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Wayne, one. No, sorry. You take you know no time out. Time out. You take this is a known thing. You take the suit off of off of Tony Stark. You're just a billionaire with no skill outside of a brain. Uh, what, what is it? A uh, billionaire playboy philanthropist. philanthropist. Uh, okay, but then you have billionaire playboy philanthropist. Martial Marshall. artist, Judo detective. Chuck. Yeah, detective. <laughs> when you get that with Batman. Yeah. So, okay, okay. Right. okay. Yeah, here yeah. we go, here we go. Just a man in a suit. Alex, yeah. out of a scale of one to seven, where do you rate Tony Stark's intel? Seven. Yeah. Official Marvel ratings are six. He is you got to have true. somebody at the top end. It's got to be Reed I, Richards at the top. He hangs out with Reed Richards. He's he, on the Illuminati. Yeah, like, he, he hangs out with the most intelligent people. He defers to Reed Richards. Yeah, he's like he one of the, no, he's like, yeah, but he's like one of the top four smartest people. It's like Reed Richards... Him, uh, Xavier. Exa uh, no, I think it's like a man of Cho, uh, that Cho, Amadeus Cho. Yeah, Cho, Cho, and then it's uh, like Banner. It's like those four, are like the top four. Okay, yeah. So that I mean, was... he's got to be seven. All right, the next one is strength. With the suit of armor, I'm gonna put him at a five. Dude, seven. I guess it would depend. Uh, that's a kind of a rough one. Going with like a Mark One or to Mark Five somewhere or in there, just Hulk like a Hulkbuster. Yeah, Hulkbuster is what I'm thinking. Seven. Hulkbuster, I would. I, anyway, Marvel official <laughs> ratings are six of seven. Uh, it's walking I, a line. Yeah, yeah. I, I can I mean, go with Hulkbuster. That. I mean, it's used to build speed. Down Hulk. Oh, it's, um, it's speed uh, five. Six. You give him a five. Bingo. Official Marvel ratings are five. Yep. Oh, All right. All right. Uh, durability. With that suit, I'm gonna put him at six. Nailed it. 
Damn. Official Marvel Rating. I mean, <laughs> yeah, because you got to crack that shell. Once once that happens, it goes down to one. Oh, yeah, yeah. He's very much <laughs> yeah. uh, squishy yeah. underneath. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, my heart. <laughs> uh, energy projection. Seven. No. Seven. He's got that, that Six. chest. Unabeam. Unabeam. Yeah. Six. From Marvel. Five. I say five. Are you going to just. Seven. You just, you're Six. Dialing five. 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 You got to dial it in. You got to. Official <laughs> Marvel ratings are. Six of seven. Oh. Oh. I could be seeing Once you get up that high, it's just kind of like, yeah, hey, it's whatever. He's not calling down lightning, thunder. If, if right. we get to Thor and he doesn't have a seven, I'm going to be pissed. Right. Okay, here we go. Uh, fighting skills. <laughs> Four. You give him a four? Anyone else? Three. You give him a three? Oh, they nailed it. The marks nailed it. Oh, okay. With three of seven. I, also, yeah. Hey, oh, what's your plan of attack? Attack. I mean, he has no plan. Yep. He doesn't think about what he's doing. He yeah. just does it. Oh, you, you broke my armor? Oh, crap. Yeah. 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 What if Tony Stark made an armor that duplicated what Taskmaster could do? Uh, just learning just, any yeah, learn any, any combat any moves yeah. and just program it and get it ready to rock. Yeah, yeah, that'd be wonder, awesome. Oh, like a, a, the Matrix? <laughs> yeah. Mark. Yes. The Incredible Hulk. Wow. All right. This should be easy, actually. This is the most two dimensional character we have. <laughs> right. Bruce Banner, Smart Hulk, Dumb Hulk, Thug Hulk. Uh, yeah, because there's a lot of This would be Hulk. Robert Bruce Banner. This right. is your, your <laughs> vanilla, generic. Yeah, your generic Hulk. Just Hulk. Everybody knows. Yeah. yeah. All right. Intel. Hulk Intel's about a two. Oh, yeah, Do you count it. them as both, like as one individual? Well, well, then I'd have to average it out to a probably a six then, because Banner's a seven. Nailed it. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, Banner's a seven. Hulk's like a two. Yeah, but they can't you know. call the. Uh, all right, whatever. Hey, hey, when he was Mister Fixit, he had all yes. the intel. That yeah, with the Gray Banner Hulk had. is super intelligent. Exactly. And he currently, right now, as Doc Green. Yeah. It's oh. all of Banner's yes. thoughts. It's just the Hulk strength. Okay. Okay, so moving on to strength. Hulk is the seventh there is. Yes, he uh, is. Yeah. <laughs> Hulk smash! Yeah. Uh, speed. I'd give him a... F- I'd give him a five. That's a lot of mass he's moving he around, but he can move. Seven, I think he what? He six. jumped all the way from like yeah. South America to... What was it? Ang Lee Hulk, yeah. Ang Lee Hulk. He got that real quick, didn't he? In like, yeah. oh, like two days? I'm going to jump the Grand Canyon, over the Grand Canyon and jump. Boo! Okay, here. Yeah, I'm going yeah, yeah, to give him a five. The five. official Marvel ratings are seven of seven. What? Really? No, that's no. speedster no, level. That's, like, yeah, that's like Quicksilver level speed. Why, why not? What do you mean, why not? Why couldn't the Hulk do that? He, he can't. He just jumps. Why? Funny. What's holding him back? When, when has he ever done it? Okay. Uh, this is not what he possibly can do. This is what he's done. I don't know that I've ever seen six. Hulk throw a supersonic punch. However, I would I would argue, I'd posit that, because he has limitless power, with that limitless strength comes increased musculature, and I would I could see him moving fast. Okay, Much faster so what's going to end up it. happening, though, is Quicksilver can move to the point to where time has stopped. Yeah. The Hulk cannot do that. You cannot rate yeah, this to we, we have not level. gotten Hulk that raged we yet. We should write a letter to Marvel. Guys, this is getting mm. serious. It's going to end up in the back of a damn Dear Bendis, book. your Hulk stats <laughs> suck. <laughs> well, Please okay. fix. I will throw boy. out the fan votes for this one. The fans vote on speed, uh, six. See, I, I can see that. That's I, push I go with a five. Five it is. He's big, but he's quick. Moving on to durability. Durability. Seven. Yep. Okay, easy. Seven to seven. Yeah. Energy projection. Oh, one. Nailed it. Even though you think that Hulk's shockwaves would count as something. The Hulk smash! Yeah. 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 Like, you think oh, yeah. Okay, well, if Captain America has a freaking three or From. whatever, yeah. Well, that's why the fan votes place it at four. His? So, yeah. I mean, it's, think about it. He he's, does a ground stop. You go rippling off into other fight. directions. You do the yeah. smash. Yeah, I, I could kind of see that, but still. Yeah. So, fighting skills. Where do we place the Hulk? I'd place him at about a three, probably. Official Maybe. Marvel ratings are five of seven. That's giving the Hulk a little much credit. Hulk's know, he, just a smash. Yeah. yeah. Hulk just Hulk beats things party. until they die. I don't know. He handled, he handled the sentry pretty well. But World War Hulk, dude, that guy could fight. He knew oh, all Oh, yeah. That's, that's a great point. point. He was a gladiator. Yeah. yeah. yeah all right, I think that yeah. was some of the banner intelligence got stuck in the Hulk brain. Maybe. So, all right. So, that's the Hulk. Okay. Where are we swinging back around to? Is it. Oh, uh, we got next. Mark Tran the con man. The con so man Tran. Like, next. Well, now get wrong. <laughs> we are going to discuss Thor, Odin's son. Oh. Better not screw this up. Starting with Intel, where do you place Thor's intelligence on a scale of one to seven? Uh, 
God, what's the average? Four? He, or three, probably. He ain't the smartest guy. I Official so. Marvel ratings are two of seven. Uh, Woo! Yeah. Oh, he's um, smarter than that. Yeah. But he's average. If they're giving a Hulk a five. But they give Bruce Banner a six, actually. It was six, six. Yeah, but it was. Okay. But yeah, Bruce Thor's Banner smarter six. than that. I don't think I don't he's, know. I don't think he's creative. Under, he's a little under typical. He's like, hey, I'm Thor. I'm going to break stuff with my. Yeah, head. he's the guy that throws mugs on the ground. Yeah. Okay. Uh, oh, oh. Strength. Yeah. This should be easy. Who should be like sober Thor seven. or yeah, I, yeah. <laughs> speed? Seven, yeah, speed seven because he can like well he doesn't fly, but he uses the hammer so he, he throws flies. the hammer and gets yeah. drugged nah, after it. Yeah, fly. but that that hammer can travel supersonic speeds through space. So, so if he's can. holding it, then he's moving pretty quick. Official Marvel ratings seven, yeah. for speed are six of seven. Uh, Makes sense. He's not speedster level, but he's up there. Durability. Uh, uh, six or seven? Uh, six. The official Marvel ratings are seven of seven. I'm about to say he's yeah. an Asgardian yeah, god. Yeah, 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 but he, he can, still gets his butt kicked. I mean, but he has it's, how he had to Ragnarok to kill him. They also uh, took hey, his arm off. He's got an arm missing, so he's not yeah. that durable. He's still but, standing. Yeah, yeah, but that was taken after arm, he lost yeah. the hammer, wasn't it? Yeah, he yeah. he didn't have Mjolnir anymore, so, so he's kind of like, all right, come on, bring uh, it. Yeah. Yeah. Energy yeah. projection. Uh, are you counting the hammer as well? See, that's the cool. That's the that's the question of this. Well, you can't be Thor without the hammer. Uh. Well, Lightning he, strike, bam! He can be Thor Odinson, which is still a very uh, powerful guy, seven? Guardian God. Seven. Yeah, because I mean, it's freaking lightning bolts. Marvel right? ratings yeah. are seven to seven on energy projection. Yeah, I, mean, I can see that. I'd give him, I'd give him like a four, seven without the hammer. Without yeah. the hammer, because the the lightning is being called by Mjolnir. Okay. Without the hammer, you know, he's walking around with his big axe. He ain't shooting lightning out of his axe. Yeah. So. <laughs> That's what do funny. you, uh, <laughs> what do you, <laughs> ain't shooting lightning out of that axe? Um, <laughs> Fighting skills. Where's Thor in fighting skills? Um, five? Five? Official Marvel ratings are six of seven. I mean, he's fought a ton of people. He's the key For a warrior. Very long time. Yeah, yeah. But he doesn't he, do, yeah. like, he just, he's like, oh, he's like, I'm just going to run into him and just cut him. There's, I there's think no, it's a little bit better than that. There's no tactics with I'd Thor. give him a five. All right, All here right. we are. Moving on to Alex. This is yours, man. Good luck with we this. We'll make this the last one. How are we doing on time? We can't. We're, we're at a... About a minute or two left. Okay, let's you, do it. You last one. Uh, Scarlet Witch, Wanda Maximoff. Crap. Yeah, good luck, buddy. Yeah. This is going to be interesting. Because they'll be wrong. Go. Power Grid, starting with Intelligence. Of seven, where would you rate the Scarlet Witch? Uh, she helped run a damn country. Uh, six? No. no, five. Five. The official Marvel ratings are three of seven. Oh, uh, I kind of gave her too much credit, didn't yeah. I? Yeah. She still. I'd give her a four. Hey, she's and, right in the middle. And Marvel doesn't want smart women. Next, <laughs> strength on a scale of one to seven. Where do you place the Scarlet Witch? Physical strength four, three, three of seven. Damn, I'm over. She's a chick. I'm giving. I mean, oh that, my oh god. god! Wow. I mean, whoa. Sorry. I don't mean. Oh my. Not, I mean, whoa. All right. You're crazy. I don't anything bad uh, for that. She's one. not a superpower chick. Oh, yeah. She's not like. Hey, where the white? <laughs> she's, not, she's not. She's not. She held strong. She's not like Thor chick strong. She's not like Squirrel Girl strong. She is just a normal like girl strong. Okay, that's the alarm saying you're done talking. <laughs> <laughs> Speed. Speed. Two. Three of seven. <laughs> Sorry, you got to that now. She has magic to fly. Durability. She's still. Three. Three's worked so many times. <laughs> Three of seven, it is. <laughs> <laughs> All right, energy projection. Oh. Oh. Seven. Yes. Yeah, 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 There's yeah, no yeah. other way. That's, that's what yeah, she that's, does. That's House of M. Yeah. yeah. She projects that energy. Yeah, that was a given. I'm like. And last but not least, fighting skills on a scale of one two. to seven. All right, we got two, we got two, we got four. The official Marvel ratings are three of seven. What? There's what? your average. Whatever. So, uh, all right, well, I know we're done with that, but I want to do one more that should have been on here, but it's not. Because uh, it's, it's Batman. Not. We got to do Batman. Uh, oh, we're going to do Batman? Okay. Yeah. We're going to do Batman. So, so got let's not. Here. What, we got just, this. Let me get this. Right, yeah. okay. uh, you uh, rattle them off to me. I'll tell you what it is. Uh, you tell me if you agree. Durability. Seven. seven. What? Uh, energy. Seven. seven. Dur Hold on. Oh, oh, fighting. Seven. seven. <laughs> Intelligence. Eight. eight. <laughs> Speed. Seven. Seven. Yeah. Strength. Eight. Eight. Yeah. Yeah, so. 
Yeah. All right, Batman wins. That wraps us up for oh tonight. Oh wait, and we totally forgot to do Deadpool stats because those would be twelve. All those will be next time. Gross. Next time, <laughs> yeah, that's, <laughs> that's just part of the ep- Deadpool. They're <laughs> twelve all around. Come on. Uh, on a scale of one to seven on Deadpool's uh, intelligence, it's the letter C. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> or square. Square does beat it. So square. <laughs> square beat C. Number square. With that expert insight, we want to thank you, Mark Tran, the con man, for being on the show tonight. You're welcome. Woo! Hey. We will go over all the Deadpool stats with Chad next week just to confirm. Yeah, yeah. when we do the Deadpool episode, that'll be like midway through the show, probably. Probably. Yeah. Uh, midway to the end. Yeah. But right before the beginning. Uh, yeah, but sometime after the end. Sometime. Close to the middle. That'll be next week when we are recording live from Generation X Comics and Games Studios over here in Bedford, Texas. Southeast corner of Harwood and 121. And we need to thank Jason Dyer himself, Tech Booth. Yay! Yay. Boo hiss. Microtech, other Mark is also here tonight. Yay, Mark Brewer. Yay. Yay. Helping us out on some of the other technical aspects. Yeah. All right, so you got to hit us up on social. We are all over social still. You can hit us up on facebook.com forward slash trade paper hacks. That's probably where you found out about the show. That's our top channel. That's it. Definitely follow us there. Or you can hit us up on Twitter at at trade paper hacks if you ever want to kind of see what kind of comments we have about the new trailers or reveals or costumes or anything like that. Things like that. Instagram. See some images for the show. Uh, That's also at trade paper hacks. We are now going to hand the Tumblr off not only to our estrogen ambassador, Brooke, whenever she has the opportunity, but we're going to hand it off to Mark the Con Man Tran for all of his adventures out there in cyberspace to be shared on the uh, Tumblr. Uh, that's trade paper hacks, all one word. Yep. Right? Or you can write us an email. You can write us an email, uh, tradepaperhacks at gmail.com. But the most important one that we've been playing up so much these days is you can actually watch us on YouTube. It is a YouTube thing now. We have video. You can look at us. That's. I'm sorry. That's not always a good thing. <laughs> I'm sorry. But it, it, it's actually kind of worth it because you can see cool visuals like us playing up to our poison ivy stand. Yeah, come, come take a bow. The proper, uh, the proper uh, hover uh, hand uh, technique uh, or non hover uh, hand. She, yeah. she, she, she bowed. Go back. Yeah. <laughs> you can come check us out on YouTube. That's that's gonna be a lot of fun. Uh, you're gonna have to search for us though. We always link to our YouTube on our Facebook, so look it up there. Go subscribe to us so you get all our new stuff whenever it comes out. Yep. So. To recap the show, always, always be prepared for any con you're going to go to. It's an experience, and it's also a challenge. It's not the easiest thing to do, but you'll have fun if you do it right. <sighs> go out and watch the Avengers trailer. Make your own opinions about that, and let's not jinx Harrison Ford anymore. Yeah, we're, uh, Harrison Ford is going to be happy and healthy for years to come. Years and years to oh, Knocking no. on wood. <laughs> and then... There's a lot of BS about Marvel superhero stats out there. Yeah, Marvel doesn't know what they're talking about. And that's what happens when you have an editorial staff that doesn't coordinate anything. <laughs> Much like ours. Yeah. 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 So, once again, what you need to do is go read a comic book, but support your local comic shop. Uh, I think I took your... You took your, my line. Let's try that again. Say it again. We're going to keep that in the show, though. Don't edit that <laughs> out. Okay, okay, that's, that's totally in there. Let's try this again. Alex, do it right this time. Uh, hamburger, hamburger, hamburger. No. no, no. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to get to it. And in three, two... Mm. All right. So, in the meanwhile, go support your local comic shop. Go read a comic book. Try not to look like a dork when you do it. Get off my plane.